he has like... What is this? What? Why is Wuhu I These guys are like big advocates of Wuhu Island. What are they? You can't play on Wuhu Island. I think they're doing the whole we agree to it. That's not how gentlemen's works. This is not a legal stage. Alex, get this isn't a legal stage. <laughs> That's not how gentlemen's works. All right, so we got Charizard and Olimar. Oh my lord. On Wuhu Island. A very competitive matchup on a competitive stage. Is it about to be one of those days? I hope it's one of those days. That means I'm probably going to win. Yep. <laughs> Congratulations to GSS. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Winning my first foundry. Is Trayvante here today? Um, he's supposed to be. He's in the bracket. Okay, good, good, good. Zex is here. Oh, for it should sure. be good competition then. Yeah, so one seed is Shaky, two is Zex, three is Trayvante, four is me. Nice side B. It might actually kill if we were on a legal stage. <laughs> Dude, the stage is actually really cool in terms of layout. This reminds me of like the, uh, well, that section reminds me of like the Pokemon League when the stage transitions to like yeah. the, the rock area, but it's kind of fused with the water stage too. Yeah. Little actually, it looks like some elements. people in the some people uh, in the chat are saying that gentlemen's is that you can agree to any stage you want. Uh -huh. um, so this has been a personal thing I've been trying to deal with, actually. Trying to oh. get some history on. How does that not... Because this stage is huge. Oh my god. What's uh, that move called again? The up throw? In an actual game? Or oh, the show? Uh, uh, Seismic Toss. Seismic Toss, okay. But, uh, so there's no record that I have found of people saying that Gentlemen's is like, you can basically do whatever you want if you both agree. Uh, to my knowledge, Gentlemen's is Basically, like, you can skip DSR, or you can go to a counterpick stage. Like, anything that's legal, you yeah. can go to. Oh, that's what you thought? Anything that was legal? Right. That it's not like, hey, we can just break the rules because we both agree. Oh, okay. Because, like, so, think so about it this way. If Gentlemen's is that, basically, you can agree to anything that you want, stage-wise, that's basically breaking a rule, right? It's like, oh, we have this way that we can break a rule. Um then you could agree to having items on or you could agree to having customs, you know, like that, that, it, yeah, it has yeah. that kind of mentality. You know, a, a lot of um, TOs have started implementing a rule where gentlemen's is allowed, is actually not allowed. Yeah. And if you get, for whatever reason, even if you both agree to it and you guys get caught playing on a stage like Woohoo Island, yeah. you're both uh, subject to disqualification. Right, right. So a lot of TOs are like pretty much agree with you, they don't like that. Uh, and so they've inserted Cause, that clause. Cause it doesn't make any sense to be like, Oh yeah, let's have, uh, just because we feel like it, we can just do whatever we want to. Mm -hmm. Which, I think, I don't really mind if they're playing on Muhu Island, it's whatever yeah. to me. Oh but, man, uh, you, you would hate Choice and I, we used to play on like Hyrule. I remember, <laughs> I remember. Uh, if you guys don't know, Choice and I played uh, three f winners finals and two sets of grand finals on Hyrule Temple, Hyrule Temple, Palatina's Temple, is that the stage is? Palatina's Temple, yeah, Palatina's. and um, that other giant one, the Great, Great Cave Offensive or whatever. And it was like a one hour set. Oh my god, he really. Oh, oh that was the dumbest. My. That was the dumbest thing, dude. Brooke's <laughs> not even mad. It looks scorched. It's just like, how did that happen? He's the one who hit it. That was just. <laughs> oh lord. You're done, dude. You lost. Oh, you lost to Charizard that on stream Ash. on Woohoo Island to a fully charged forward smash. Because of your Pikmin. Welcome to come on and ban, guys. Because of his own Pikmin, too. Yep. This is what happens. What a fun game. <laughs> what a great game. Did we mention we have Rage, too? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Whoever came up with that, they were a genius. I like... What if people... Rage is kind of eh, but I do like that it forces you to actually try and close out a stock. For me, it's just like so, someone was like sitting in the development room and was all like, hey, what if someone is losing really, really badly? Yeah. And then all of a sudden they could kill someone at 30. Dude, it was the Tekken guys. It, it was the Tekken dudes. They were like, yo. They were like playing Tekken and they were watching Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Yeah. And they were like, what if we just gave everyone X Factor? Oh, another force man. It kills all the Pikmin, dude. Like, you're so done. Okay, now we got the throw in Pikmin game. Yeah, Charizard is taking some percent, but it's not really too big of a deal, you know? Yeah, Charizard lives forever, so it's not yeah. a big deal. Olimar, however, is pretty much at kill percent. 
given how strong Charizard is. I bet you if I ask James later and be like, hey, why'd you pick Charizard in this matchup? He's just going to be like, Charizard kills Pikmin. <laughs> uh, oh, that's that? be it, dude. Wow. That's it. So powerful. Yo, more Pikmin slaying going down. This is Charizard the Pikmin Slayer. Top 17 York versus rank 17 Scorch. I just noticed that. <laughs> What a great <laughs> turn of events. Or maybe not turn of events. Coincidence? Sure, Coincidence. let's go with that. We're already in that round 32. Yeah, York. Uh, whenever, whenever Olimar is on screen, I don't even want to like talk about the match. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about something else? Did we can you talk about whatever you want. Oh, Viola Davis. She won the uh, Best Actress at the Emmys for uh, a drama show. She was Getting Away with Murder, right? That's her Yeah, show? How to Get Away with Murder. Oh, yeah, yeah. You watch that show? I don't watch TV. Oh, it's so... Okay, I, it's like one of the only shows I watch, and it's amazing. All I do is I go and, like, uh, watch some anime and just be a weeb. Like, that's it. <laughs> oh, have you seen... Uh, oh, what was that anime? You watched Mede Nikki, right? Future Diary? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Oh, okay, okay. I really, really enjoyed that That one was, anime. like, crazy, dude. Like, yeah, it was it was. Good, but I'm like... You guys are reaching some, like, really high <laughs> levels of crazy. Like, oh, yeah, she became a time god, went through time, timed out some time stuff, and it's just a murderer. Like, but, the, but the thing is, like, she had that whole, um, she's nuts. she experienced, she went through that whole first stage of it, experienced yeah. the whole, like, w the game and everything, and then she, uh, her lover ends up dying, and she has probably a psychological breakdown after becoming god. And she so was she goes already crazy, though. Yeah, she was. Her parents made her insane. Yeah. And so you, you have that tie couple tied, that tied in with, um, Everything else that happened, she's like, I'm gonna go back in time, yeah. and that, that's why she's so, uh, she's so like protective of what's his name, Yuki. I don't remember. It's yeah, been like so, a year. She's so protective of him because she doesn't want to lose him, yeah. and she's so obsessive. But he's never experienced that, so to him, it's like, what the fuck? Why is this chick on me? Maybe because she's clinically insane, bro. Maybe or or no, she's clinically or insane. She right. Nah, man. All right, he's about to size my toss this dude, right now. Size my toss, go go go, fresh. Whoa. Later. There we go. Two zero. Beat the Elite Four. All right, now we can get back to some good Smash. Oh, man. DSS with the call-outs right now. 